December 16th, 1773, Boston Harbor. By the end of the night, 342 chests of tea would be dumped into the harbor. Known as the Boston Tea Party, this event was a protest against taxation and British mercantilism. In some ways, the event had been brewing for 10 years. Following the end of the French and Indian War, Britain wanted to tax the colonies and regain some of the money that had been spent for their protection. This violated two principles. First, the idea that the colonies were governed directly by the king. Second, the theory of mercantilism, which said that a mother country would protect the colonies since they provided a vast amount of income. As Parliament tried to take control and levy taxes, American colonists protested. A series of acts and taxes led to boycotts, protests, and creative resistance. By 1773, Parliament had repealed most of the unpopular tax acts. However, the Tea Act remained. Created by Parliament to financially rescue the floundering East India Tea Company, the Tea Act gave a monopoly and several other financial breaks to the company, allowing them to exclusively sell tea in the American colonies. Had a brush with the East India Trading Company, didn't we? Pirate? When three ships of the East India Tea Company stood off Boston Harbor, protesting colonists refused to allow the ships to unload the cargo. But the Royalist Governor of Massachusetts refused to allow the ships to leave. On September 16th, the Sons of Liberty reacted. Putting on disguises inspired by the Native American Mohawk tribe warriors, the colonists headed for the harbor. Their costumes had symbolic meaning, since both the British and colonials recognized Native Americans as a group that did not want to be ruled by European powers. The disguised Sons of Liberty boarded the three ships and for the next three hours diligently unloaded the tea into Boston Harbor. It's estimated that 92,000 pounds of tea were emptied into Boston Harbor that night, and the estimated value of that lost cargo was around $1,700,000 in modern U.S. currency. Samuel Adams, a leader of the Sons of Liberty, insisted that the Boston Tea Party was not the actions of a mob, but rather a protest of colonists who were asserting the idea, no taxation without representation. The British governor, parliament, and the king viewed the Boston Tea Party as rebellion, and in response instituted the Intolerable Acts, which included closing the Boston Harbor to trade. Though the start of the American Revolution and the shot heard around the world was still more than a year and a half away, the Boston Tea Party was a major moment in the road to rebellion and eventual independence for the American colonies. John Adams, a relative of Samuel Adams, noted in his diary a few days after the Boston Tea Party, This is the most magnificent movement of all. There is a dignity, a majesty, a sublimity in this last effort of the patriots that I greatly admire. The people should never rise without doing something to be remembered, something notable and striking. This destruction of the tea is so bold, so daring, so firm, intrepid and inflexible, and it must have so important consequences and so lasting that I can't but consider it as an epoca in history.